Hello, in this video, we are going to cover the difference between all of these terms bash, shell, command line, terminal, console. There'll be other terms as well that basically get, you know, interchanged. They're used, you know, some people might say bash, some people might say terminal, and there are slightly, you know, there are some distinctions between them. First of all, bash and shell are very similar, so you can consider them almost the same. They are the same thing, but they're very similar. Then obviously we have command line, we have terminal, and we have shell, and we also have a console as well. So what is the bash shell? So the shell, it's basically a program. So it's a program that provides the traditional text only user interface for Linux and other line other Unix like operating systems such as Mac. So it's a program for the text only interface. And what's interesting is if we go if terminal is basically a terminal window which is essentially a terminal emulator and this is also only text only it's a text only window inside of a graphical user interface that emulates a console so a lot of the confusion will lie in sort of these two areas so a terminal will be a window where you can type in commands on your computer then the bash shell is sort of you not know, behind the scenes what is happening because you can have different ones so this is where the difference comes in bash is one type shell is another you can and get off in the zsh and there's like a bunch of others as well and those would do things slightly differently have slightly different features so terminal is what allows you to interact with some sort of bash or shell so what is the command line then so the command line is a is a space to it, it's like what's the best way to describe the command line realistically because because yeah because command line a lot of the time will be get will be interchanged with the terminal for the most part because basically anything you can input commands into is the command line anything that takes input but you could actually have a command line in a game for example on pc games if you press the tilde key which is you know by the number one that sometimes ac activates a built-in command line that's not the terminal it looks very similar to the terminal and it's not using a bash shell system it is actually a command line so what that basically means is it allows you to put text input and you'll initiate some sort of command that command line could initiate a like a bash command or it could be just a built-in command in a specific application so command line will look similar to terminal and you know bash shell zsh but it technically is different it's just anywhere with where you can put text input so you could you know implement a command line in your website for example okay so that's what the command line is so what is the shell so the shell is a program that provides the you know traditional text-only user interface for Linux and Unix-based operating uh, Remember, already covered it right here. Sorry about that. Okay, and then what is console? So the console, again, is another thing that will get, you know, sort of swapped between these in terms of, you know, the terminology. The console is an instrument panel that contains the controls for a computer. So this is a physical, actual input system. You know, back in the days, you used to have a console that on the screen, if you had a screen, had a sort of a terminal command-like interface and you would be physically in putting it. And even though you have a keyboard now, that goes to your operating system first, which then either puts it to the command line or, you know, a terminal-based system. So this is a physical instrument 
panel that has controls. So that's the difference between the bash, shell, terminal, command line and console. I just wanted to cover this in a separate video so there's no confusion when you hear this terminology because they are technically different things. You might, you know, people might say, you know, put this into the console and, you know, I use that terminology myself, but what you'll probably, you know, what they'll probably be meaning is put it into the terminal into something like bash or shell which is obviously also a command line so it can get a bit confusing that's it for this video if you have any questions feel free to pop me a message and as usual i look forward to seeing you in the next video